Okay. Now that I think the cut's done. <laughs> yeah. Now that I think the cut's done, I'm just gonna continue here. Oh. It didn't say, like, oh, keep coming. We just need five, four more. And then we can mass produce the weapon. Doesn't happen, apparently. What's this? Transport truck. Cargo trucks, I think, give you weapons and interesting things you get, which is pretty cool. I'll talk about that later when we actually encounter one. I'm trying to showcase this game and its features while playing. So this game is a pretty sick game. You know what else I actually kind of want to play? It's actually a phone game, which is interesting. Just uh, whatever. Um, if anyone knows a game called Battleship Harbinger, it's an app game. It's really cool, actually. Well, it's supposed to come out on PC and all that, but it's it's an app, and I have it on my iPhone, and I wanted to record it. I just looked over there, even though my iPhone is right here. See, the camera I'm using is the iPhone, because it's the only one that records at a good solid rate, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> it records well. Let's, let's put it like that. That works. Records better than my 8 frames per second webcam. Oh, you know what else I can record now? Which is pretty... I'm pretty excited about. I can now start recording rapidly. I got a, um... Controller plugin, which will make it probably a lot easier and I, will, I won't suck as much. I mean, I tested it a bit, like, on servers and stuff. I'm in the moment, okay? I'm talking. Um, but anyway, um, I was recording it and stuff, and well, I was gonna record it. And well, I am. I can record it. Jeez. Anyway, I can record it, which is pretty cool now. Can't wait to do that. Sacrifice yourself for the, for the green belts, or I will shoot you. Go. Oh, nice. Here's the right idea. Dies, in which case, no. Okay, I... Okay. So he just survives, walks on his merry way, and I die. <laughs> I love AI. It's so fun, especially when you get singled out. <clears throat> I do have 85% accuracy, which is above the normal. I think 81% is the normal at this one. Coward! I'm not a coward. Sitting on the ground, mowing people left and right. I think being actually skilled. Well, that's the difference between s skillfulness and cowardice. It's very big difference. I guess. I don't know, I'm just spouting stuff. <laughs> Round on the way. Oh. Am I caught in the friendly fire? Okay, cool. <laughs> just wait there. Boom. Waiting to see that light. It's very not to walk towards it, but it's too pretty. <coughs> it's just so mystical. You want to know everything about it. Yeah, keep coming this way, guys. That's a good idea. That's a good plan, bro. Yeah, keep, keep, keep. Keep the animals coming, two by two. We are the Ark, apparently. And then they rounded up two of each animal, and they beat the crap out of them. I think that's what it just says for TF2. <clears throat> I was just thinking about playing that. I don't know, though. I never really got into TF2, to be honest. Like, everyone's like, oh, you just play TF2 and stuff. I'm like, should I? Play? I don't know. Like, it's just one of those games that, because it's uh, the weapons and stuff, that, that's what gets me. Holy crap, what does he have? Okay. Micro gun or something. Oh, just a mini gun? <laughs> I need it. Yo! Commander dude. <clears throat> I need your mini gun. I need your mini gun to go kill people with. Yes. Where is he? Is that for a uh, not there. Apparently, yep, dead. Boom, headshot. Okay, other people. Where's that commander? Someone tell me right now. You did. Put a lot of grenades. 
sometimes I forget I have grenades. Hey, look, that worked. Let's get the boxes too. I buy cover. You did. You did. You did. Oh. Oh. German can get in that trench. Oh my god, go back! <laughs> no. Ow! I hate going in the trenches on you. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, <clears throat> keep moving on. Oh, oh, we gotta take North Trench, that's why everyone's there. I was like, why is everyone pushing here? Shouldn't we technically be pushing west? But no, now we're pushing north. I don't know why I have to think about that. W is north. Oh gosh. You did. You did. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay, that's a lot. Huh, ah. <laughs> just clipped in the tree. That's funny. This is the times where you spray and pray. Hoping to hit someone. Or at least something interesting about this game, actually. Each hit, each shot, is the actual percentage chance, like where you hit them, it has a percentage chance of killing them, that's how it works. It's pretty cool actually. Like if I hit the body, for example, I have a... I don't know, the statistic, I'm gonna make one up. I have a 26% chance that that bullet will kill you. But if I hit your head, I think it's like a 100% chance with some guns. I don't know how it works like with guns, but I'm pretty sure a sniper anywhere is about 100% chance, or 50. But then there's a sniper just like a lot more. Oh, okay. Hey! What did that fall, mate? Are any of the. <clears throat> Sorry. Are any, I'm wondering if any of our troops so far have been using G36s. I'm pretty sure they have. I hear. Yeah. He's using one. He's using one too. Apparently it's preferred. Oh gosh. Right. <laughs> if I miss like the, I missed like five shots there. If I missed five shots, I'd be run trying to like run for cover there instead of spazzing left and right. Yeah, I don't want to th throw grenades here because like, yep, see, <laughs> I knew. That lob. Oh man. And he goes for the two pointer. Eh, uh, doesn't get it. Because they moved! Targets aren't supposed to move. They're supposed to stand still and let me die. Let lamp. Let. They're supposed to let me kill them. So yeah, that's no fun. No jump at all. Now look at that trench full of people. This is what they invented grenades for. I actually went to... okay. Recently I went to the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. Canberra, mate. Yeah. It was a hot day in, um, in uh, New South Wales too, which is pretty good because Canberra was like... Well, it's Celsius. In Celsius I think it was... Uh, Canberra was... 2425, which was actually pretty good considering that um, it was like 30 something. I think it was 32 in, um, in New South Wales. Jeez. <coughs> Brain fight. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty good because, you know, looking at. I don't know, I'm just really fascinated by, well, I'm fascinated and interested in that type of stuff with the history of our war. I know it's like, it's not a good thing, you know, it's not like, oh cool, it is, all that. it's the kind of like, place of memorial, obviously, hence the name War Memorial, and that, and, you know, like, just to show the experience of what the war was like. And it was good and all, but we kind of had to rush through because school stuff, we had to like dance over school assignment worksheet things, which is really annoying. 
It's like, I actually wanted to look around and read some of the stuff, but it's like, nope. You gotta do, like, we're only here for, like, a few hours. Because the bus ride takes, like, three hours or something. And in that time, you have to answer, like, to fill out two complete sections and stuff. And there are all these questions, and they're really hard to find and stuff. So it's just like, really, mate? So we gotta go looking through the water park, huh? And instead of, like, actually experiencing the things there, we have to find things. Whatever. <clears throat> but, that's pretty good. In fact, going back to the trench thing, that's the same. Grenades were originally, I think, made for trench warfare. Back then, Skype, sorry. Um, yeah, they were originally made for uh, trench warfare, so I just took them up. Um, and, like, look, there was a, like, thing there of, like, um, you could look at all the different, like, the advancement in grenades. And some of the first grenades were absolutely fine. Like, they looked, they were just these massive club looking things with, and as you pull them, the, put it up. But, I mean, it was just crazy seeing all this stuff. I love seeing all this stuff, you know? Could be there forever, to be honest. Some of the questions, though, are really hard to try and find the answers. Or some of them we couldn't. We just, I don't know, we just didn't want to think about it. Because we were too busy rushing trying to find the answers, and we didn't think about it. One of them was like, what was the... What was the duty of, um... Japanese pilots in their missions, you know? Like, you know, Pearl Harbor and stuff. And their mission was pretty much... Well, you know how it goes. They flew in. They emptied their ammunition, fired everything off. Once they're out of ammunition, they they became ammunition. They crashed their planes into boats and stuff. Kamikaze. I forget. I don't know what. Like I don't know anything else really. But like, that's. Uh, that we couldn't think of, you know? Like, it was like, obvious, like, we knew the, I knew the answer of it, it was just like looking at the question, you want to try and answer the question from the woman. Right? But yeah, I mean, it usually was their mission, usually. But a lot of, but yeah, a lot of, it was like shameful to come back alive. In like the World War Two and stuff like that. It'd be crazy. That was something in their army. I'm gonna join the army to serve my country. Yeah, you gotta serve the country by dying. And I want you dead. Then who serves the country? Hmm? You know? What a waste of soldiers, you know? But then again, World War One and Two were not really won by tactics. <clears throat> they were won by brute force. Superior firepower and full on just see if you can overwhelm, you know? Overwhelming force, that's all it was. Sure, there were a lot of cases where there were, were tactics, some of the same tactics weren't used, but if you look at a lot of the cases of what happened and stuff, it was a lot of. Off, you know? Like, there was a lot of fights and instances in which the only orders they were given is assault this position. Assault this position. Keep going. Just keep pushing as hard as you can. Trench warfare, you know? Like, just charge the enemy trenches, see if you can get in. Or dig. Find an artillery crater, hunker down in it while people got out there shovels and just dig to try and get like a trench going and once you have a trench going you get the people in and then you just try and work your way like dig towards them tunnel towards them try and get closer i mean they even had said like there were cases where oh fine i'm taking off the trench um there were cases where some of the trenches were like 
this far away from each other, like, right next to each other, and they could hear each other talking and stuff. <laughs> that would suck. They chucked things over too, you know? Australians were, are very satirical and to have a, like they have a dark humor when it came to war because you know they you know play with their lives a lot and make jokes about things inappropriately. Of course, because it's Australia. It's what we do in Australia. No time for weak. Strong and stay strong. <laughs> no, seriously. <clears throat> Pretty crazy.